There was a princess, a very beautiful young princess. And then um, she had her parents, the king and the queen. And the king and the queen so much loved the princess and they did everything to make the princess happy. And once the princess developed something in her eyes, one of the eyes, and then, then she was so worried that something happened, you know, some small kind of a thing came up, and then she touched it, she touched it, she always was looking and touching it, so it never got well. And all the doctors, lots of doctors did everything, but she was, it never got well, and it became worse and worse because she was touching it too much, and she was so much worried about that. And then the king made a declaration that if somebody can cure this, the eye of the princess, uh, he will give her to marry her, him to marry her, and he will give half of his empire. But if he cannot, if somebody comes who say he would cure and he cannot, then he would be beheaded. Uh, so then, you know, <laughs> <there's the problem. laughs> and then there was one young man, and he said he would, he would cure the princess. He was not a doctor. And they says, please, you know, don't, don't do it. It's, you, you are going to lose your, your head. He went, and he said, I'm going to cure the princess. So then he was warned, yeah, but you know, if you can't cure him, her, you will be immediately beheaded. He says, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I have to go and see the princess. So then he went, he saw the princess, and he took her pulse, and then he was, you know, like, very worried. He was, oh, it's so bad, you know. Oh, it's so, so, so bad. And then the prince was getting very worried, and the parents got very, very worried. What is, what is wrong? What is wrong? Is it really bad? He says, yes, it's very, very bad. Oh, no, the, the, the eyes, no problem. Eyes will get better with, that, with my But there's something really serious problem. So, but I can't tell, I can't tell. If I tell, I will be punished. I cannot tell. And they were trying to persuade him to tell what is wrong. And they promised that he will not be punished if he told, you know, the truth about Princess Health. And then at last he said, yeah, the problem is this, that any time now, the princess is going to start to grow a tail. And this tail would be so long. It's nine phantoms long. And this is, can't we do something? There's no cure for that. There is one, one thing. When it first come out, then if I can put a maksa on it, oh. then it can stop. But you know, it has to be the very first moment that it start to come out. Otherwise, then once it comes out a little bit, you can't do anything. She will have nine phantom long tail. <laughs> so everybody is very worried. She is very worried. And then he says, no, don't worry about the eyes, it will be okay. Now she's touching her <laughs> tailbone. Every, you know, every few seconds she's touching. And she's so much occupied with that, that she forgot about her eyes. <laughs> and in a day or two, her eyes got better. 
and it was completely cured in no time. And then after a few days, he came and he saw the princess and says, your eyes seem to be okay now. He says, yes, yes, my eyes, no problem, but what about my head? <laughs> and again he said, uh, uh, bring the, you know, the king and the queen. The king. He says, look, the prince's eyes is cured. He said, yes, yes, but what about the tail? <laughs> And then he said, well, I came here to cure the eyes. <laughs> Nobody can grow <laughs> nine fathom of tail. So, you know, <laughs> it's like that, you know, sometimes we, we, we have a small problem. And then we, for, we focus on that so much. Uh, <coughs> that it becomes the whole life. And the more we do that, the more we suffer. So therefore, you know, sometimes small problem can be a big problem. And, you know, and then this can never be solved because there's one problem, then that problem somehow disappears, and then another problem comes, and another, then again we are so we have this habit of totally, you know, concentrating and focusing on our problems and difficulties and things like that. So therefore, then our whole life becomes, you know, painful, suffering, problem, difficulties. Uh, so therefore, if we learned how not to do that, if we learned how to use those problems and difficulties in a certain way, or look at them in a certain way, and take them in a certain way, then those problems actually can become a part of our, our path. Uh, and therefore, the problems no longer become a problem, but it can be something that is, you know, that we can use. <laughs>